Well, hello there, kids. Uh, today I'm unboxing a thing, uh, which is pretty unusual for me. Uh, yeah, Crash Nitro Kart for the N gauge. Because I got this on Amazon the other day. I was like, nah, pretty cheap price, why not just get it? It has a pretty decently looking box. So I went for it and I didn't even know about it, but it turned out that it is actually factory sealed. As you can tell by this little stripe here, you probably can't pick it up that well. But it says Nokia on there, like the Nokia logo and shit. So yeah, this is legit. And I thought, well, this might just be a rarity, so why the fuck not get it? Why the fuck not make a video out of it even? So yeah, just for clarification, this game is exactly the same. GBA version and N-Gage version, they are identical. Except this version looks a little bit better than this one. But that doesn't really matter. Just for box size comparisons, I got this. So it's like half of the PS2 case, basically. But yeah, um, I don't actually know what a, an N-Gage game looks like or what even an N-Gage looks like, to be honest. Neither do I really care. I don't even know how to open this up. Like here? Oh yeah, there it is. So, yeah. Totally ruining all the value of this game right now just by opening it up. But why the hell not? Nothing speaks against it. So, uh, what the fuck do I do? It's like the first time I'm doing one of these unboxing videos. Oh, it says pull. Shoutouts to pull. Right there. Um, yeah, interesting stuff. I'm, uh, the back side of this is different f from these or these games. So it's a unique box. That's why I really wanted it. I'm just going to scrub this off later. Interesting. Looks like a DS game, except a little bit bigger. I've never seen this before. How do I get it out of there? Like, I'm scared of breaking it. I'm even scared of breaking DS games when I take them out of cases. Uh, do I want to do this? I don't know if I want to. Yeah, whatever. Let's check this first. That's how to use an N-Gage, I guess. Looks pretty fucking complicated. I mean, the thing itself. I mean, it's a phone, so yeah, that's that. Yeah, lots of text. I'm not gonna read that, fuck that. And now we have this manual. Let's check this out. Online features available. Uh, I actually, when I bought this, it showed the German version as a cover, but they actually sent me an English one. I don't, I don't mind it. I would have just liked to have a German box, but the difference is like negligible, so who cares? I mean, I got it for a criminally cheap price, so who the fuck cares? It's actually fucking new, so yeah. I don't know if I want to get an N-Gage. Is this in different languages? Looks like it. Potenciadores. Yeah, it is. Okay, so here's German. But yeah, I'll just go through the English one, I guess. I wonder if this is any different from the GBA manual, because I haven't really... I don't know what it looks like right now. But yeah. I mean, the game is exactly the same. It just looks prettier. And the loading times are worse. So you don't want to speedrun it, you don't want to do anything significant with that. Also, who the fuck owns an N-Gage? Oh, well, there, Team Bandicoot, Crash, Coco, and Crunch. Perfect that they only show fucking Crash there. Team Evil. Why did they call it Team Evil? That doesn't make any sense. Just call it Team Cortex like in the console version. That's what I would say. But you know, um, Cortex, Engine, Tiny, and others. Yeah, just shoving these people off to the side. Not even 
Zam and Zam. Well, poor fucking guys. Well, that's everything already. Huh. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, if you want to read anything, I hope you can pause the game at an appropriate time. There's like a box for this to take it with me or something. I think you can just put games in there. That's what it looks like. Okay, how the hell do I get this out? Ooh, I think I got it. Yeah. There you go. Looks like a freaking SIM card. I guess that's how you're supposed to put it in. Made in Taiwan. Okay. I know that much. Yeah, I might even pick up an N-Gage. But from the gameplay footage I've seen on YouTube, it's exactly the same as the GBA version. At least the menus look exactly the same. The tracks look a bit prettier, like the boost pads look like the actual boost pads and the console version. Like these green, black stripes things. Decent, decent. Okay. And now I am the proud owner of three different copies of my Trocard. Uh, yeah, I guess that's everything. I'm recording this with my phone, by the way, so it might not pick up on everything perfectly. But yeah. Uh, that's it. Uh, pretty much everything I can think about right now. Yeah, and with this I have like freaking too many crash games, but I'm still not quite done. Uh, anyway, uh, at this point I, got, I guess I might as well just thank everyone who watched my uh, 20th anniversary Crash Bandicoot video thing. It was pretty cool that I got quite a few viewers for my standards. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching and I'll just upload it upload this from my phone, I guess. There's nothing to really cut out or anything. So yeah, thanks for watching.